Intel giving a sneak peek of its new desktop Intel Arc A750 uh, gaming. I, I want to do I, I want to do a build here. I want to I want to build up. So there's two different types of graphics when it when it comes to uh, computers. There's integrated, and those graphics are smaller, a little bit less capable, more power efficient that sit inside the SOC. And then there are discrete, which is, you know, could be a giant PCIe card uh, or, or a slim PCIe card that goes into desktops and, and workstations. Intel is very much a player in integrated. In fact, uh, the latest uh, JPR had Intel as the market share leader at 60% um, of the overall graphics market, including discrete and, and integrated. But... In Q1 21, Intel had a whopping 0% market share uh, for uh, discrete uh, desktop uh, and uh, workstation graphics. Uh, and in comparison, NVIDIA right now has 78% market share and AMD has 17%. So how big of a business is this? So for NVIDIA, it's about $4 billion a quarter. So let's say $16 billion, and then let's add 20% uh, to that, let's call it a $20 billion market between AMD and NVIDIA. So this is a brand new business that, that Intel is, is getting into. Uh, and, and quite frankly, um, that's the way that I look at it is, is, is this net ad. So uh, what Intel did is they gave their first sneak peek uh, out there. Ryan, Intel's Ryan Shrout did a video on this, kind of showing how their 750 did uh, in DirectX 12 on certain benchmarks. And, and from that, you gain the positioning. First of all, it was against the NVIDIA uh, 3060, and that is, uh, you know, at Best Buy, it's a $399 card. But what it showed was that the ARC 750, A750 outperformed the 3060 by about 15% on uh, DirectX 12. Um, actually, five-game Geomine was 13%. But uh, I'm liking the way that they're putting this information out because, quite frankly, if they did a normal product launch, not a normal but a traditional, and they put the big the big dog at at the top, which is the A770, and it didn't beat the 3090 or something like that from Nvidia, people would be like, "What's wrong with you, Intel?" So, uh, what I like about this is is they're showing their positioning, uh, they're taking control of the messaging. That, uh, that 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 goes in there as opposed to you know doing it the way that companies have done the past uh, 20 years uh, Ryan uh, and Tom Peters also did a uh, did a, a pretty fun video with uh, with Linus that I thought was uh, uh, although he's always entertaining uh, that showed how good the performance was on DirectX 12 but it also showed the work that Intel has to do with ISVs on DirectX 11. So that was another thing to learn and to know that, you know, when you're looking at benchmarks, uh, you know, Intel and the ISVs are optimized for DirectX 12 and not yet DirectX 11 and makes total sense because Intel just got into the discrete gaming business. So um, I believe, Daniel, that healthy markets always have three competitors and strong uh, competitors. And it's funny, markets with only two strong competitors, uh, we see uh, pricing uh, dominance and pricing power, and quite frankly, a, a lack of competition and a little bit of innovation. I'm not saying that NVIDIA and AMD aren't innovating and, and pushing it, but do you know the last time that NVIDIA brought out a new uh, uh, consumer discrete graphics card? It's been, it's been a while. OK, and where did NVIDIA put their, their brand new architecture? They took it to the data center, uh, not to the uh, uh, not to the gamers. So uh, I'd like to see Intel be a strong player in the market. I think that's good uh, for markets. Markets of three are better for consumers and we'll see uh, better innovation. And exactly as I said three years ago, Daniel, I said Intel will be their first out will be a strong mid-range. Now, mid-range is more like 150 bucks, so and 399 is is kind of the bottom end of of premium. But uh, they're exactly where I thought they would be. 
Yeah, it's interesting, um, Pat. I love what you said about the three, because that's really what I think we're looking at here is Intel has identified that there's a clear market opportunity uh, to, to play a meaningful part in this graphics game. Uh, AMD and NVIDIA have sort of controlled uh, the market, the competition, both entertaining, uh, as you, you know, unlike CPUs, the fan, the, I'll call them the fan people to be a little safer um, today, tend to be on sides. And it's sure. only those two sides. Red and team so, and green team. Red team, green team. And it's going to be very interesting to see if there becomes, would it be a blue team? Um, you know, because it's not that Intel has been completely out of this business, but hasn't ever really created that sort of affinity that the others have, have created. And now as they're really putting the full court press into their, uh, you know, their, their graphics, discrete graphics business for desktops and a client and then PC, you have to think that this is seen as a major market opportunity for the company. And if you look at Pat Gelsinger's whole strategy, breaking this out, creating it more as a division. I even know Pat, in our case, an AR, we're getting someone dedicated yeah. to focus on this, which haven't had in the past. So, you know, I haven't spent as much time in it as you, but the real question for me is, is the market ready for a third competitor? Yeah. And if so, how quickly can Intel scale this up and start to really become red team, green, or red team, green team, blue team? Um, it sounds to me from your assessment that this is something that has some legs, but the question now is, you know, you got to go on the sub stacks, the, you got to go on the Twitters and you got to see someone going to start tweeting blue team anytime soon. Having said that, I know this is an important project to the company. I know that there's a lot of investment going on behind it and hopefully over the next, uh, 12 to, you know, 24 months, the revenues start to show that the adoption is growing. Yeah, and and I guess my macro thing, I didn't even, you know, I'll just end a little boomerang with uh, don't judge the company's progress in totality with their first announcement. Give it a few years. That's 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 the patience that I'm taking. And you know what? They did exactly what I thought they would do. Right? They've got a they're going to have a strong mid range, even I think when um, even when Nvidia comes out with their their new stuff. 